Well, hello. We're back again. We're going to do another unboxing. This time I have to install on my 2008 Goldwing a carp you ride uh, display. It's waterproof. Um, it is the uh, W702 model and it will hook up with my phone which I normally have here but I, as everybody knows who rides if it starts to rain or you get bad weather you can't have your phone up on your handlebars and Honda didn't make the best GPS for the bike and of course hard to update I don't update mine I don't even really use it so I'm going to mount this carp you ride over here on this side now I can move it on my bike I have installed in the right cubby I have put if you can see it in there it's hard to see I have put a uh, uh, cigarette lighter it has two USB ports and I've wired it in so it's connected over to uh, my cigarette lighter or 12 volt on the other side of the bike so it's all wired together so it's all has its fuses and everything and that's what I'm gonna wire this carpy ride into and I've been reading about it and I can hardwire it but I believe I'll do a USB because uh, I can move it from side to side. If I don't like it on one side of my bike, then I can mount it on the left side. So I can mount it on right or left. And this is for my GoPro, but I can move it around. It's all easily detachable. And we'll see how it goes. Now we're going to unbox this and see what we get. But I guess before I get started, I should just say that. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. I have no affiliation with them. They didn't send it to me. I'm doing this kind of all on my own. I was confused about which one of these to get. I'd been looking at them for a while. And from what I've seen, I will see. This is the one I think will work best for me. Maybe different for everybody else, but we're gonna see here. It's got a nice big display which is what I like. Okay, and you can see as I take it out there, there's the display. Looks like ram mount on the back side. And we open this up and we've got some more mounting stuff. Stuff I probably can't use there. And I'll have to read all of that. Comes with a fuse, a wrench. And the manual. So now I'm going to read through the manual and we'll see what we've got to do to install this. And we'll go from there. All right, been reading through the instructions on the carp you play. Um, or carp you ride, sorry. Um, looks like the wiring is going to be very simple. It comes with its own USB and has its own uh, power converter here. Very simple and easy. The wire coming out of the back just unscrews here. So if I unscrew it, that just pulls off. This is if you're gonna wire it to the battery or to some other part of your bike I'm going to use the USB since I already have it and it's a simple plug it in and screw it down and just like that I have a USB here so we're going to go mount it now now I've taken this part for bikes of course with the 
with the tubes for their steering. I don't have that. Gold, gold wings are square, so can't use that. Um, I could mount it to the to the front there, but I've already got my phone and a cup holder there, so I'm going to leave them where it's at, and I'm just going to mount this over the brake reservoir with the ram mount, and we'll see how that works. Okay, I just wanted to kind of film this because it's to see show you how easy this really is. This is very easy to use. Now I'm just going to put this right here, and I have different kinds of ram mounts already, so if this one's too tall, too small, I can move it. But it's just this. This is spring-loaded. See the spring in there? And you just put it onto that ball, and then the ball there. And then it's just basically positioning it where you want it. That's how easy this is to install. Really, really quick and easy. You can see it's already on and I'm about ready to go out for my first try to see how it goes. We're going to do some hooking up with it and I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay. As you can see we're finished installing which only took us a few minutes. See I've already got my wiring in here. I'll open this up and show you what I've done on the inside, which is just USB, so it's really nothing to that. As you can see, I've, in, I've plugged it into my USB there. I've got two USBs and a 12 volt, so that's all there is to that, and I've made me a little notch down here so the wires can come out and they don't cramp. I've adjusted the carpy ride so I can steer completely in both directions no wire doesn't hit the windshield <clears throat> a little bit hard to see here this is the back lip but you can see it here on this side and now we're going to fire it up and see if we can't get it connected to the phone and then i have a sienna 50s that i'm going to be hooking this to for my helmet and we'll see how easy that is Okay, I'm actually sitting here on my bike with my instructions. I've got my Carpy Ride as powered on. Got my phone here and I have a Fold Z4, so that's what I'm going to be uh, using. And now we're going to follow the instructions and we'll see how easy this is to get connected. Okay, now it says I've entered the Android Auto. And I'm going to go into my Bluetooth here and look for my Bluetooth. It's probably going to be set here at the bottom. It says Carpy Ride XXXX. So, okay. And I have a lot of things connected here. There it is. And mine, if you can see that, it's kind of dark, but mine says Carpy Ride C4E539. So I'll pick that. It says it's pairing. Okay, pass key comes up, hit pair. And I now have my Android Auto going. All right. Well, I think I'm done. You can see I got my helmet on. I've got my Sienna 50S. I turned it on and put it into uh, pairing mode. And then on the Carpy Ride, we go down to this little button here, and then it turns into these little dots. You hit that again. And then you come up here and you have to exit out of Android Auto and then do audio output. And once I put it in pairing mode, it showed up right there. Tap it, it connected, and I'm connected. That simple. And then, of course, when you go back, 
you just hit the Android Auto if you're doing CarPlay. Um, you've got your SIM card you can put in. And I've got all my music on my phone, but I'm going to put in a SIM card also. So I can play music anytime I want. But And then, of course, up here... You've got different backgrounds. If you notice the background, I don't know if you can see it change. There we go. And I'm just going to leave mine black. And then you've got the display. And then this button goes back to your Android Auto. And of course shows you your Bluetooth. And then you have a mixer here, which I won't mess with the mixer, at least not yet. And then you have um, your volume. And the volume I control on my Sienna 50S, so it looks like that's pretty much it. It's set to go. Now it's time to go out for a ride and see how it works.